Hey Burners, here at Fat Burners Only, we get approached all the time from people post bariatric surgery asking, what protein do I take for the optimal absorption in my now reduced stomach size? Now, there's lots of different proteins out there and knowing the basics will go a long, long way to actually getting the right protein in. So to start with, there are some fast, medium and slow digesting proteins. When you're trying to digest protein on a smaller surface area, you actually want a quick digesting protein, not one that's going to slow down absorption and form a gel-like layer around the stomach. So the protein that you need to avoid is a protein called casein. Casein is derived from milk and is a very slow digesting protein. Once it hits the stomach acid, it actually forms a gel-like layer and not only slows its own absorption, will slow absorption of other nutrients in the stomach as well. So when you're buying protein, avoid casein. Next, we have vegan proteins. Vegan proteins are typically derived from either hemp, rice or pea protein. Now, these are okay if you've had bariatric surgery, but they're a little slower digesting than the other proteins out there. So when you do have vegan source protein, make sure you have a half dose just to allow for the fact that your stomach size has been reduced. Next, we have whey protein. Now, there are three different types of whey protein. We start with a slower digesting protein, whey protein concentrate. Now, it's okay to have some whey protein concentrate in your shake, but ideally, you don't want the entire shake to be consisting of whey protein concentrate. It is a little slower digesting, and when we have a smaller stomach area, we actually want a faster digesting protein, which moves us along from whey protein concentrate to whey protein isolate. Now, this type of whey protein has smaller particles and has had more carbs and fats removed out of it. So you're getting more bang for your buck, more protein per serve. And you, as you would know, with a smaller stomach, you wanna make the most of any nutrients you're putting in. So you're getting more protein for how much powder you're having and it's quicker absorbed in the stomach. So whey protein isolate is great. And then finally, we move to whey protein hydrolysate, which is whey protein isolate that's been pre-digested using enzymes so that the stomach doesn't have to digest it itself. This one is ideal post bariatric surgery because it's absorbed instantly and you don't have to do any work in the stomach. So whey protein concentrate typically takes anywhere from two to three hours to digest. Whey protein isolate takes about half an hour to an hour. And whey protein hydrolysate is instantly absorbed over to about half an hour. So you can see that the quicker absorbing ones, the hydrolysate will be better for a smaller stomach area. It's in the system, it's not filling you up for too long and you're absorbing the pure protein as well. Next we have what I feel is the best protein post bariatric surgery, it is collagen protein. So typically collagen protein has been hydrolyzed, which means that the protein strands have been treated with enzymes to break them down into tiny little pieces, in essence, pre-digesting them. So that when someone post bariatric surgery has collagen protein, the stomach doesn't have to do any of that hard work, it's pre-digested and it can absorb very easily, even in that smaller surface area. Collagen protein is typically derived from beef. It doesn't taste anything like beef, but it's derived from beef, which means that it's got absolutely no allergens as well. So whereas some people can have allergens to plant-based and whey-based proteins, collagen has no allergens. And when you've got a smaller surface area and you're limited to the amount of food you can eat, it's very nice to know that you're not gonna get any discomfort and inflammation in the gut from that protein. Finally, Collagen protein is alkalizing to the body, which is a great state to be in. And if we're having other proteins that can make us acidic, it can actually disrupt the flow of digestion. So collagen protein is alkalizing, which is a great state to be in. So not only is it pre-digested, easy to absorb, doesn't fill you up, has no allergens, so there's no inflammation, it's alkalizing as well, and it ticks all the boxes for being the perfect protein post bariatric surgery. If you do have any questions for yourself or maybe anyone that you know that's had bariatric surgery, please whack a comment in the comment section to this video. Give us a call in store or get in touch with us on our website via our live chat and one of our friendly team would be happy to answer any questions about this topic. Thanks for watching Burners. I hope you got something out of that. We'll catch you later. Cheers.